What is going on everybody? How are we all doing and welcome back to Not to another brand new Team of the Season play review and this time round from the brand new Premiera Division Team of the Season we are taking a look at the 90 rated Marcos Acuna 90 rated in the Premiera Division it's absolutely insane Acuna's got a crazy looking card and before we get into the review if you do enjoy it make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section down below let me know who you want to see me review next and your thoughts on this card but we're keeping things off now with the basic information for Acuna he's standing at five foot and eight inches tall he's got medium to high work rates which are a little bit unorthodox and he's got three star skill moves and three star weak foot as well looking at his base card and top five in game stats 90 rated left mid I've already mentioned his rating absolutely crazy because with 94 in pace and dribbling 88 shooting 93 passing 90 physical and 70 defending so loads of 90s there incredibly incredibly well earned in base card and his uh, top five in games 99s across the board in stamina, agility, balance, long shots and shot power. He had a couple more 99s as well. It's an incredible card. Uh, no traps and specialities, but looking at the team that we used him in, it's a bit of a different one because we're playing him in a 4-3-2. One got him linked up with Aguero and his uh, perfect Lincoln teammate there in central midfield. I forgot his name, but at half-time in every game I played, I did change it up to a 3-4-2-1 to try him out at left mid because that's a formation I really like personally. And with his medium to high work rates, he just kind of, he, he does suit that system. System. But um, in the five games that we did play with him in this team, he came out with five goals and two assists, which uh, bearing in mind that he played at left mid for a lot of the games because of the formation change, I actually think was very, very decent. As we start to roll the clips now of Acuna in action, he's a card that actually got leaked a couple of, uh, well, about a week ago now. So I did see this card quite early on. And I thought at the time, it's a crazy, crazy looking card. I've already mentioned how well rounded it is. And positives kicking off with here to kick off with. His dribbling and pace straight away are absolutely insane. That 99 agility is definitely something you can really feel great when he's on the ball. And when he does get into the final third as well, he's got, got great passing. And he's got an absolute wand of a left foot. His finishing and shot power are absolutely fantastic. He also feels pretty strong. He's got 82 strength. And you are able to body off the wing backs every now and then. And also, stamina, particularly in that... 3-4-2-1 formation where he's going to be someone that's bobbing up and down the wing being 99 is absolutely fantastic negative however he does have a couple weak foot and skill moves skill moves both being three star if you play this guy in an attacking position they do not quite cut the mustard his right foot didn't actually seem too bad to me but I always say as an attacking player you want someone to have four star at least and also if you are playing him in an attacking position then work rates being medium high also aren't ideal I did find it wasn't too much of an issue for me particularly as I quite enjoyed him dropping deep and running forward sort of leading the attack being the player that was initially picking up the ball in the 4-3-2-1 but on the side of that, on the flip side, when you're playing the 3 4 2 1 at left mid, he's absolutely ideal. He's perfect for that formation. Can get back and forward and be very effective in both positions. Got the pace to be doing it, got the stamina to, stamina to be doing it as well. So, as far as you guys like myself that so use the 3 at the back formation quite regularly, this guy is absolutely ideal for that left mid position. And overall, I'm going to be giving him an 8.9 out of 10. Like I've already mentioned, dribbling pace absolutely outstanding. And his left foot is absolutely great, whether it's passing, finishing, long shots, or absolutely fantastic the only one negatives come down to the fact that Zeke you're playing him in a, in a 4-3-2-1 really like so weak foot and skill moves could be better work rates in that attacking position aren't ideal however I will say I've mentioned it briefly, if you are playing it through the back formation, left mid, you will not find a player better suited than this card. He's absolutely fantastic. But that is going to end the review, lads. Like I said at the start, if you did enjoy it, leave a big thumbs up. I'll catch you all in tomorrow's stream. So I hope to speak to you all there, lads, and maybe even another player review as well. But um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Speak to you there. Need you out.